what's happening gamers, I'm K-Wing, and this is your K-Wing's Let's Plays channel update for 2015 in December. Now, first and foremost, before we begin, just want to let you know that we will be doing the Christmas with the K-Wings 2015 here in Pennsylvania. For those of you who are worried about it, don't be, because that's something Amber and I really love doing. It's very exciting, and we have a lot of fun sharing our Christmas with you guys. Uh, also, I want to let you know that uh, later this afternoon there is another episode of The Force Awakens place it, I believe part 3, and uh, that should be coming up around uh, 3 o'clock or 3.30. Uh, later today at uh, around 5.30, 5 o'clock, is another uh, Smash Brothers Cloud video. Uh, this was a uh, pre-recorded video uh, that was done, I want to say, a few days ago, and I was just waiting to post some content. So it is uh, battles between level 9s with uh, Link and Cloud. So it should be a lot of fun. Probably about a 15 minute episode, but you can expect that later today. Uh, over on my little notes here, I'm noticing that uh, Amber wrote K-Box, which uh, K-Box is an important series for us. Uh, we've done about uh, 12 episodes so far, and it involves just us building stuff, hanging out, and having fun. It's a very relaxed series. It is uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Toy Box Adventures, or Toy Box Tuesdays, is where we look at uh, community content from either you, the fans, or, you know, somebody over at Disney, and that will be Tuesdays. And then when we run out of stuff like that, we'll do live streams for interiors. As you know, we lost our save data, so this is the best uh, method that we were able to come up with. On Thursdays and Sundays is Versus. And we have a lot of really cool verses for you guys and gals, including Kyolo Ren, Luke Skywalker, Ray, Finn, that Wedge wannabe, and so much more. And uh, we have the champion coins to be able to do that. Uh, as for the Force Awakens series as a whole, it is a very short playset, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we're only looking at about six to seven episodes. We finished the game last night. It was really short, but then again, you know, it's just about The uh, Force Awakens, so nothing about Episode 8, uh, Rogue One, or anything like that. And uh, it does kind of spoil some things about the movie, but it does it in a way that I would say the Rise Against the Empire playset did. So, you know, they're taking a little bit of free liberties, but it's still pretty cool. But again, it's a very short series. Now, Skylander Superchargers will be ending this month. Now, we moved it to the 7 a.m. time slot because a lot of you uh, seem to like watching it in the morning. Uh, it will end in December, and uh, we changed the difficulty because we just want to be done with the game. Now, replacing that, as you can see over here, will be the Dragon Ball Z Extreme game. Now, I was talking to K-Bro, who you guys uh, met on the live stream. He's our editor. And he was giving me a hard time saying that I need to grind and improve my characters and do combos and things like that. And the more I kept thinking about it, I was like, you know what? I'm never going to look at this game. So I went ahead and Amber and I recorded some of this the other night just to, like, you know, rub it in your face, K-Bro. I know I'm not very good at the game, but uh, that's going to be a 7 a.m. series replacing Skylanders by the end of December. And yes, the gameplay won't be that awesome, but it will have my horrible abridged voice acting, and I dragged Amber along with me. So if you guys were looking for a 3DS series, then you can look forward to that. And I know I have uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X in the background. I have no idea when we're looking at it. It is an incredibly lengthy game. I've only invested about 10 hours into it so far, and I have no idea how I would do an LP of it. I mean, <laughs> I am really just taking my time with it. I love it. It's a lot of fun. The robots are awesome, but uh, other than that, I have nothing to report on that right now. All right, so Adventure Time will air until probably January. It's going to air off and on uh, this month. It is a really laid-back game that Amber and I can only record about one or two episodes uh, every other day or we'll fall asleep. It's just very relaxed. Uh, that series will um, start to air again off and on this month, probably release, uh, probably replace Skylanders and some other stuff. Now, Tales of Zestitaria, or Tales of Zestaria, the Namco Tales game, uh, will be ending in January. Yes, we will have the DLC for Alicia, and uh, we did the side missions, and, you know, we finished the boss, and, uh, yeah, it was crazy. But, because there's so many episodes, we're looking at about... 50 to 60 episodes, and I think the Let's Play channel currently has about, 
I want to say 35 uploaded in total. Um, so between myself and Kbro, there's a lot of editing involved with that series, which is making it very difficult for us to do a lot of Let's Plays. It is the first series that we finished before we started uploading, and, well, that's not really true. It's the first series that we finished and uploaded a huge bulk of it first. So we had about 15 to 20 episodes before the series was over, and it was something that we did all this month. It was incredibly lengthy, but we did it. Tales is over, but you guys won't see the end until sometime in January. Uh, replacing that series in January will be Sword Art Online on the PS4. So those of you who are like, where was Sword Art? Sword Art is going to replace Tales as our 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. series because it is for older viewers as it is rated teen. Common Rider Summon Ride, or Rider Kick, will not be until January. I know a lot of people are sad about that. It is a very challenging game because we can't read Japanese, nor can Tink, even though, you know, she's... I don't even know what she's doing. She's uh, cleaning herself down there, which is distracting because you can see her head bobbing up and down down there. But uh, Kamen Rider Summon Ride will be January, and then later in 2016, we'll be looking at Kamen Rider Bat Ride 3 because it has the Showa era Kamen Riders. So, like, Kamen Rider Black uh, X and some of my other favorites. So, that will be happening. Uh, Puzzle Dragons Mario will be returning in January as well. Uh, Amber and I sat down and we finished that game, but we're not going to start airing it until January. We also have a very special Christmas present for all of you guys for a series on the Let's Play channel that has been pestered for a few years. So that is our present to you guys, and you'll just have to wait and see on Christmas night what it was. So, yeah. Super Mario Maker will be weekends, um, just because... You know, that that series, it's not necessarily, it takes a lot of time for us to do, but it is a platformer. Platformers are not my strength. Amber teases me a lot. It's fun for you guys, not for me. I get frustrated sometimes, and it's just like, whatever. But, um, yeah, I think that, oh, uh, that's right. Um, I just wanted to address this really quick. Uh, Amber wrote this in my little notes. Talk about LEGO Dimensions. All right, now. LEGO Dimensions is a really fun series for us, and we do look at all the new characters and the playsets when they release. However, we have not been doing free roam. Now, the reason we have not been doing free roam is we do not have the time. I don't know if you've noticed, but this year alone, mostly every month, the Let's Play channel does anywhere between 55 to 80 videos a month on a variety of games. Also, we look at tons of new games and indie games throughout the year. Whether or not we finish the series, it doesn't matter. We, we look at a ton of stuff, and with the release of the new channel, we have stuff that we're working for that as well. So, LEGO Dimensions to Free Roam is just not possible, because there's so much stuff that people are expecting from the Free Roam series. Now, we can't just run around and have fun. People want us to find all the little gold bricks. They want us to find all, you know, the studs and all the secrets and things like that, and LEGO is not a series that we invest 100% of our time into. We love the LEGO games, we did it once. For LEGO Batman 3, we did about 90% of the game, and it set us back months. But uh, LEGO Dimensions, other than, you know, if we just did a live stream where we showed you the Doctor Who characters, or just had fun running around and didn't have to worry about collecting things, we would totally do that. But LEGO Dimensions, in its current state is a very beefy game that if you guys did buy it, there's a lot of content for you. I would say hundreds of hours worth. However, in January and, you know, the rest of 2016 when they release new playsets like Ghostbusters, Midway, all that fun stuff, we will be looking at those playsets upon release. But I hope that explains uh, what's going on with the Let's Play channel as well as why we did not do a lot of free roaming with LEGO Dimensions. There's too much pressure, there's way too many series to do, and we are not a 100% channel. So, we are a showcase channel. But anyway, guys and gals, I hope you have a very wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. There's a lot of fun stuff happening on the Let's Play channel. We hope you love our Force Awakens series. We finished it yesterday, it was very short, a lot of fun, but um, yeah. There's a lot of exciting stuff that I can't wait to tell you in January, but you'll have to wait until the next update. We will see you on Christmas morning with Christmas with the K-Wings. I hope you enjoy the rest of the content today and tomorrow, and until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. Bye, guys.